channel. So I'm going to do um, like a soft spotlight that's going to be matte, but the whole spotlight lighter colour in the middle effect. But something wearable, I'm going out to an event straight after, so I need something wearable really. It's not a makeup, well it is a makeup event, but it's not like a extravagantly bold makeup look sort of thing. So I'm going to start off by doing my skin. What do I want to wear on my face? I tell you what, I really do love Urban Decay All Nighter, but it's just so yellow. I feel like I need to mix it in with something. You know what, maybe I'll put on, these are the Iconic Drops. So I'm going to use that just to make my face glow, I guess. And hopefully, where this is more warm, orangey toned, more golden, this might, I say might very lightly, help me out with the foundation. So I'm going to use a sponge just to blend all that in. Now I'm looking like the tin man. I am going to use my Kat Von D. I love the packaging of it. I think that's like the best packaging I've ever seen. The foundation. Good, so that's enough for the foundation. I'm going to go into concealer and use collection concealer. This is collection Lasting Perfection. This one's in three, which is basically my skin colour. So I'm going to use that as concealer, what concealer does as a job, conceals. So I'm going to put that in all the areas I would normally conceal. And then I'm going to go in with number one, which is the lightest. It's a highlight, so this is just for the coverage at the moment. set the skin I'm gonna use um, my favorite banana powder by NYX it's a HD powder and this is just for under eye matte marker powder in nude beige and then to contour and bronze I'm going to go into the L'Oreal true match powder in uh, deep golden I'm going to bronze as well. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, which is to warm up the entire look. And I'm going to leave blush for today and I'm going to do the highlight at the end. So now I'm going to go onto my brows. I'm just going to brush them through first. 15 Day Slayer palette. And I'm using this to do my brows. So I need the brow brush. And I like to use a mixture of lighter browns with darker brown at the end of my brow. I fancied a longer brow today. Probably in both directions, so I'll bring it in a bit and make it longer that way. All right, let's not go too long. I will conceal that. Let's not panic. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to go in with a brow gel. This is a clear one from NYX. It's called Control Freak. And I've brushed up all of my hairs there. Can't see any gaps right now that need to fit in. So I'm now just going to clean them up with some concealer. So I'm going to use the same concealer again. And I'm just going to use this flat brush that I've got. I'm just going to pat out the edges. I'm going to be using the Zoeva Matte Spectrum Palette and I'm going to be using just the fluffy brush that I've got. So you want to start from the outside corner, go around the crease and do the inside corner as well. I'm 
probably just gonna film the one eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera. So there's the orange, and then I'm going into this is the NYX Love Conquers, no, nope, Love Contours All. So I think this is actually a contour palette, but I use it for um, eyeshadows. I'm gonna use that brown there, and that's going same, same parts you've just put it in previously. Just don't drag it out more than what you've dragged out the orange. And then I'm gonna go back into the orange and mix them together. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush, which is more pointed, so it's gonna be more precise and pack more on. And I'm gonna go into the dark brown in that palette. I'm gonna start from both corners, so outside and inside, and move my way in. And I'm gonna go through the crease a tiny amount. I don't want too much darkness there. And then blend. So I'm then going into the Morph 25A. This is another new palette, I think. I'm just loving all of their palettes at the moment. And I'm taking this, which one am I gonna do? One of these two. This one's more yellowy, this one's more peachy. I don't know if it will show on the camera, but it's just very, very, very light. And I'm taking just any eyeshadow brush um, and that's going to cover the entire middle part of the eyelid yeah we'll do that one and then that needs to be blended obviously so I'm going to go back into the smaller one and I'm going to take the orange to blend the edges just to blend that top bit I need a bit more of that colour in the middle to be a bit more prominent. It's just a layering process. And I'm going to go back into the brown, the dark one, because now you've got a lot of orange and you've got rid of some of the brown, so you just need to layer everything back up so that everything stands out again. So that is basically the entire layering process. I might as well do the under eye whilst I'm here, I guess. I might as well. So I'm gonna do mainly orange. So I'm gonna stick with the pointed brush that I had, pointed fluffy brush, going to the light orange. Here's the look on. So it's just orange underneath. And then I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll do black in my waterline. And then I'm going to go in with the same colours that I used. Actually, am I? Actually, no, I'm just going to go into the darkest one. That's what I do. Just the darkest one to go right against the lash line. So liner on top as well. I'm just going to do a single line. This is Rimmel Glam Eyes, the one that I always use every single time. That makes such a huge difference, the liner, doesn't it? Massive difference. So I need some mascara and some lashes. And then for lashes, I've got Pink River London lashes in. I'm not actually sure of the number because it doesn't say the number on them. But this is what, hold on, I'll show you the packaging looks like. This is the packaging and this is the lashes. They are bold, just like I like them. Okay, so there's the lashes on, and now it's time for lips. I'm gonna zoom out and I hope that it's not as bright as what it just, oh. Oh, you're going back to normal now. Oh, I see, okay. I'm gonna use a uh, MAC Strip Down. Okay, this is Charlotte Tilbury Nude Cape. Gonna clean it around my lips with the same concealer. Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. And 
and then I'm gonna do some brow highlight MAC nylon I'm just doing the inner highlight as well that is the finished look so this is the finished look, I hope you like it and I hope it helped you out in some way. It's very simple, it's pretty basic and only has a few colours and it's something that I think that everyone can definitely learn. If anything, this is a great one that looks like it's quite hard but it's actually not hard at all. It's also quite soft and smoky um, and yeah, it's quite nice for whenever really. I'm going to an event and it's still daytime and I think it's good for night time or people that want to get into makeup that's a bit more dramatic but don't know where to start really. I love the orange tones, which is why that's always a good way to get into darker makeup, because orange is in most makeup looks, like 80% of makeup looks, there'll be an orange in there. So if you enjoyed this video, then please thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!